Good morning. Some folks up more north might think this is a midsummer uh, morning. Uh, here in the Sun Coast, this is what we expect this time of year. A lot of humidity, even though we're moving into fall this afternoon. The humidity is there with the dew point of 71. Our temperature at dawn, 74. Sunrise coming up in just a few minutes. Across the state, uh, temperature is still very summer-like across most of the Sunshine State. 80 at Melbourne, West Palm, and Miami. 83 down at Key West. And across our viewing area, temperatures pretty much in the 70s. Uh, and uh, humid, too. 74 at the airport in Sarasota. Uh, Whitfield, where I live, 74. Myaka City, 73. And if we move down to the southern Sarasota County and Charlotte County, Boca is quite warm, I think, because surrounded by that uh, warm Gulf of Mexico waters, 77 at this hour. Now, if we take a look at radar, there are some showers well away from us. It's dry all across us right now, but if you'll notice, these are going to be moving from the east in our direction. And oh so slowly as the day goes on, the atmosphere will moisten up and the chance of rain will increase. And about a 50% chance by this afternoon across uh, the area before they dissipate during the evening hours. Now, this is the infrared image showing the higher clouds and the winds aloft are blowing this way. At the surface, they're blowing this way. That's why we'll see those showers and thunderstorms come our way. Now, if we look at the tropics, some models trying to spin something up here in about a week. I'm not really concerned about that. But what we really need to look at in late September and into October, as we have a second peak in the hurricane activity over the Sun Coast, is things popping up down here in the Caribbean and then moving up into the Gulf. But right now, that doesn't appear to be happening anytime soon. And this is Hurricane Maria, still a Category 3 storm skirting the Turks and Caicos, predicted to rain well offshore, and this is what's left of Hurricane Jose now producing tropical storm force winds like day after day for New England. It's been just miserable weather from Halifax and Nova Scotia, Maine, uh, the coast of New England, even down along the Jersey Shore. Definitely not beach weather for them because of high pounding surf and the strong gusty winds and rain. Right now, Maria has 125 mile an hour winds moving to the northwest at seven miles an hour. It's a category three storm, and this is the fortunate thing. Its current predicted path keeps it off the Atlantic coast and even keeps it away from Bermuda. So it's going to be a fish storm, we're going to hope, still sending high surf along the Atlantic coast. And we have high confidence in this forecast because all the models are pretty much most of them are in agreement with this path. Uh, there are a couple outliers that try to move it east, but the red uh, lines are the more reliable models. The yellow ones a little less reliable, and you can see most of them are producing, uh, going right off the Atlantic coast, well away from everyone. And there's our future cast showing uh, the spiraling bands of Maria, uh, improving conditions over Hispaniola as it moves away. However, the Turks and Caicos are getting some fairly strong winds as a result of it, but it's going to be a peripheral storm for them. Look at the easterly flow over the Sun Coast, over Florida, bringing those showers and thunderstorms not only this afternoon, but tomorrow afternoon as well, and a little less chance on Sunday, but it's still going to be a pretty typical weekend coming up across the Sun Coast. Now, if you're going to the beach, speaking of weekend, great day to go out, but tomorrow and Sunday, with north winds 10 knots on the open water if you're on a boat, seas 2 feet, moderate chop uh, because of those easterly winds on Bay and Inland waters and our interior lakes. Afternoon thunderstorms possible this afternoon, high of 88. Uh, water temperature at the beach, 83. And here's my forecast for today. Topping off upper 80s to near 90 with a 50% chance of showers and thunderstorms, just about on the money for what we'd expect this time of year, and northeast winds 5 to 10. Here's a seven-day outlook showing that 50% chance not only today, but Saturday as well. Slightly less on Sunday, and then drier air kind of sinks over us on Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday in the wake of Hurricane Maria. So I think it might feel a little more like our local autumn weather when that gets here. That's your weather right now.